<laughs> Melvin Morris is an American hero. He received the Distinguished Service Cross, the Army's second highest military award, for his actions in Vietnam. He has held that award for over 40 years. Then a phone call replaced it with something else. He said it was the President of the United States, and I, I folded it. <laughs> he said, just take it easy, just calm down. It was President Barack Obama. And he told me that uh, he regret that it took so long, but that I was going to be awarded to Medal of Honor. That call brought back memories. It's September 17, 1969. Richard Nixon is president. The anti-war movement is in full swing. Staff Sergeant Melvin Morris is northeast of Chai Lang, Vietnam. He is part of the elite 5th Special Forces Group. He is 27 years old. Found a rice cache, a supply point. Then they were ambushed. Staff Sergeant Melvin Morris received word Master Sergeant Ronald Hagen had been killed. Yeah, it was a good man. Good man. Sergeant Morris took two men and advanced ahead to recover the body. Turned him over and I gave him his last rites. And I didn't worry about uh, the shooting. And uh, that's when uh, two individuals with me got wounded. So they had to get them out and then I had to come back again. After recovering the body, Morris realized that Hagen's secret map was missing and went back a third time. And when I went back, that's when they shot me. He was wounded in the chest, arm, and finger. And I don't know how many magazines I used, how long I fought, until I finally decided I had to get out some kind of way, because I was by myself. And luck uh, was with me. I was able to take out one position to allow me a chance to get out. Taking fire from all directions, Sergeant Morris made it back to his unit and was evacuated. Following a review of awards handed out during that time, it was determined that Mr. Morris's actions that day deserved the highest recognition. Be, to be honored in such a fashion that I just still can't comprehend it. I can't. Not yet, anyhow. Not yet. In fact, the first thing I asked the Colonel was, can I wear my uniform? <laughs> yeah. He said he'll check and see. <laughs>